Tyler here and today we are going to start working on our Tinder project and spe specifically how to show the 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 person the the, the type of people that you, we are interested in in our swipe card view so if uh, if we are male we are going to show females and if you are females you're going to show males so i have the the database here that we got on our last lesson and i have two users so if i'm logged in logged in with this user then the one below it is the one that's going to appear and vice versa so yeah let's get right into it and try to accomplish this so i can i'm moving to the side yeah and pulling my android project so this is the registration activity it is where we left off uh, last time but we don't need it for the time being we are going to only use the main activity so we can close that uh, and before that we are actually going to implement a sign out button because well it isn't really useful to not have it and it is bumming me out of it so let's take care of it right now okay so let's just create a button Wrap content wrap content it doesn't need to be all fancy we can just create a simple button on click uh, log out user and let's create a function on our main activity that's called logout uh, user and in here just say uh, m auth oops we don't have it created still okay we need to create a m auth variable private firebase auth m auth because as you remember this is the variable that stores everything about uh, the user, the logged in user. So mauth.signout. And then just create an intent to take us to the main page, to the first page, which is the choose uh, login or registration activity. So new intent. And First, you put the current activity, so main activity dot this, and secondly, you put the activity that you want to get to dot class. Say start activity intent finish and finally return. So the logout is implemented just with this code. So really simple. Okay, so now uh, the first thing that we, we gotta know is whether uh, the user is male or female. And we are going to accomplish that by um, just going over the, the database and using a function that Firebase has that's called exist. And if uh, there exists a child with the user ID, then we know that the user is uh, contained within a parent of said child, so whether he's male or female. So yeah, you can go ahead and just add a listener for this. So create a, a database reference. We are going to use two, re two references. Actually, let's create a function because it is quite long and just to keep it nicer on the eye. Let's just grab it there, okay. Check user sex. Uh, create a database reference. And the first one we are going to take care of is the mail database. There's probably a better way to do this, but I think this is easy. It is not the most efficient by far, but it gets the job done, so... I'll go with that. If you have a better suggest suggestion, please type them in the comment section. I'll, I'll take a look at it. And if, if I feel like 
it is really good. I'll make an update video and say, please change this to 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 the the advice that you gave because yeah, if it is better, then why not change it? So now we are going to create a, a listener uh, at child event listener new child event listener and with the child event listener we are going to check for let me grab the, the, the database it is going to be called every time there is a change so we can after we get the result we can actually stop the, the, the listener and it is going to check for every uh, child because we are now taking taking care of the mail, it is going to check for every UID that's inside. So P O two three wherever, and wherever is below it, and so on and so forth. So okay, can take there. That's us. And now we need. Mm. Okay. Uh, let's say if data snapshot dot get key dot equals and now we need must get the, the user id so uh, uh, final actually yeah final let's put the user id above it because it is going to be used twice so firebase user user firebase of dot get instance dot get current user and so in here we just say if data snapshot dot get key and the get key will be the user id if you got value it would say whatever is in front of it okay so now we must get the, the key e equals to user dot get UID so if it is equal then we know that the the sex and we can actually just create in here uh, what's the name you're going to give it? it can be private string uh, user sex. Okay. I think it, it looks nice like this. Really simple. Okay, so if that equals to that, then we know that the user is male, obviously. And we can actually say another thing, which is uh, other. How will we say it? User other sex, other sex. No, other. How can you? Not user sex. Okay, the the negative. So the not user sex is going to be the one that we are going to be looking for. I'm just putting user sex for redundancy. We won't probably need it, but it's just nice to have. And in order for us to not be using a lot of switches in the, in the future, let's put it like this. I believe that's simple enough. Let's take out the, the spaces in between lines. Add the semicolon at the end because it doesn't take care of you that for you. And now let's copy and paste it and create the female database In here female don't forget the capital F and then if you are using that and just exchange this okay so that's all we have the, the check user sex let's just add it up top And now uh, let's create another um, another function 
which is going to be checking the opposite actually opposite no okay opposite in here it sounds better not use the sex is a bit <laughs> awkward so and in the function that I was talking about here female okay that's all in the function that I was talking about we are going to be going over the opposite sex uh, database so if you are male you are going to go over the female uh, uh, child and getting everything everything that's inside so every user and for now you are only interested in displaying it you are not worried about the likes or dislikes and whatever just getting it to show so create another function private uh, public void get opposite sex users That's all good. I just grabbed it and changed it to our preference. So I have the mail, and now yeah, we want the opposite sex DB. And in here we are going to have a variable of the type opposite. Oh, no, actually, you don't need it because we are using a, a global variable, so you can just grab it from there. Opposite user sex. Paste it there. And if data snapshot dot exists. Uh, then we can go ahead and add it to the um, to this uh, array list and uh, just say notify the, the data set change so I'm let me explain it if we add it after in here you, you can just add it and it will appear on screen because you don't have an array adapter yet so it doesn't matter if you want to add something after the uh, array adapter has been created and this is only uh, this isn't how can I say it we are going to change it we are going to use a custom adapter because this, is, this isn't enough but for the time being I'm going to explain it explain to you this adapter because it is the simplest one so you have this array, li array list that's uh, passed in here in the array adapter that takes care of uh, the array in itself so every item every card is handled by this array adapter and you are adding this each text to each uh, card in its hello text uh, text view because this is the text view of the card remember that so if you want to add like an a1 after this this won't work because, or it will work, but it won't appear because you don't tell the adapter that something has changed. So if you want to add something after that, you have to say a l dot not notify no uh, sorry array adapter dot, dot notify data set change. So this notifies the the array adapter that something happened that uh, you must check it and add something to the to the um, the cards to the stack okay it is uh, a bit awkward if you don't understand a lot of programming but it can be understood and mainly when we start to go over how we can create an custom and uh, a custom array adapter you'll understand it much better so for now just take what i say for granted and just add it here so add data snapshots dot get key okay so this uh, function will be go will be going over imagine female and the uh, data snapshot dot get key it's this id so Oh, actually you can if we have the name implemented and it, it is here 
we can actually get the name and not show the ID because that's look, that looks a lot nicer. So get uh, child name dot get value dot to string. That should work. So yeah, notify that the data has changed changed to the array adapter. So notify data set changed. And yeah, that's everything. Let's just add uh, the function there. Call the function there. And that's everything. So yeah, let's just remove this because we won't be needing it. We don't want it to show any, any of that. And yeah can remove this as well because on about to us it will never be about to empty because it is running down here so we don't have to worry about that so um, let's run it and see if no errors are detected so here we are let's log in and I have an account already logged in and it is female and the males appear. So male's name. Let's sign out and try again with the female and with the male and the female's name should appear. Oops, that crashed. So uh, did we uh, call the DM? I believe we didn't assign anything to the DM auth. Exactly. <laughs> That's a, a stupid mistake on my part. I'm sorry for that. We need to... So right now the mmoth is null. We need to say Firebase auth get, get instance. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that should work right now. Let's run it again and see if that fixed the problem. Okay, so here we are. Login. We are with the female because that didn't log logged out log out correctly. So let's sign out. Okay, it, no errors are detected. Let's enter with the the male one, and it should appear, and the uh, the female account should appear. So one two three four five six. Login. Female's name. So yeah. Everything seems to be working. Uh, that's all for now. In the next lesson, we'll be starting to go over the likes and dislikes. So, yeah, leave a like, subscribe. Please donate if you can. I have my Patreon uh, in the description. If it is helpful, if these lessons are helpful you, to you, please help me offer a better service to you and better videos and better quality. That's the money is going to only improve this channel. Okay, so don't worry for <laughs> about that. I'm not going to spend it somewhere else. It is going towards the channel. I intend to grow it as much as I can. So yeah, see you see you next time and ciao.